Right, let's do this. Arsenal 4, uh, Aston Villa 2. Um, my thoughts um, on the match. To be fair, I was very nervous um, about the match. Um, I did not think we were going to win the match, if I'm quite honest with you. I was willing to settle for a draw. Um, and the time was only about 25 minutes. And I told myself that, you know what, I'm fine if we take a draw and leave this place, right? I was willing to settle from the door. And when we went 2-1 down, um, that's when I knew that, you know what, even getting a draw in this place might be um, a, a tough task. Um, but then we came back, um, Zinchenko, we came back and I started believing, you know, is I think what made me believe even more was when we were missing those two chances, Odegaard and, and Keita hitting the bar, that you know what, we might actually nick this and, you know, true to that belief uh, on the 92nd minute, uh, Jorginho hits it outside the box and wow what a strike it was yeah um, I couldn't jump up and down because I was eating um, I had a plate on my lap while watching the game so I couldn't jump up and down but I was very 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 um, happy about that yeah but what a game it was man and I have to give shout out to Jorginho I think you know, he's been a very, very good signing um, by all accounts. Imagine if Pate is injured, we did not have Jorginho, we did not have El Nene, we were going to rely on Lukonga. And for that game, it was just going to be ran, run out of the midfield. So I'm happy. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy about the signing that we've made. Jorginho has been good. And you sort of... You know, when you watch him play, you, you, you get why Ateta wanted him. And, you know, he's, I think physically he's not there. He doesn't have pace, which is what Pate gives you with the pace, the power. But I think he's far superior in terms of intelligence than Pate. He understands football. He has football brains. You know, you're often going to hear people saying that, you know, someone has a football brain. And I think Chichino uh, fits that skill description a lot so in terms of men of the match I would say yeah he was also my man of the match um Jorginho. yeah man what a game I'm I'm happy and you know City go <laughs> go on to to draw that match and I'm sure you would have felt like a draw uh Walker has come out and said yeah you know they weren't good enough so I understand that I don't think they're gonna be consistent going forward there's definitely some cracks within the Manchester City camp and I think it might remain like that throughout the season and especially if rumors are to be believed that it's the senior players within the squad that are not happy with the coaches so I guess it's an advantage for Arsenal if we can try and be consistent for the next you know five games i think the momentum is going to build from there i think if we win our next five league games we don't draw we win all of them then i think we're going to go on to win the league because i don't think city are going to be that consistent well they haven't been this season to their standard i need to add that yeah so those are my thoughts um now we are about to watch united lose to leicester I think the score is going to be 3-2 to Leicester. I don't see Manchester United winning this. Bold claim, I know. But Leicester is a team that plays football. Not what Manchester United has, has been facing. Cheers.